Four minutes. The gentleman from Idaho, Mr. Labrador, who is an author of one of the titles of the bill. The gentleman from Idaho is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in support of Title 8 of H.R. 2954, which I originally introduced as H.R. 657, the Gracing Improvement Act. I thank Ch Chairman Hastings for recognizing the importance of this issue and including it in H.R. 2954 for consideration today. Livestock grazing is an important part of the rich ranching tradition in Idaho and the United States. My home state of Idaho produces some of the world's finest lamb and beef. Food production is a major part of Idaho's history and is an integral part of our cultural fabric and our economic security. These traditions are under attack and we must preserve them for future generations. The financial security of ranchers depends upon the responsible stewardship of the land. Unfortunately, the federal process to review the permits which allow them to produce food has become severely backlogged due to lawsuits aimed at eliminating livestock from public lands. The local federal land managing offices cannot keep up with the pace of litigation and the endless environmental analysis. This diverts the already limited resources from these offices and leaves ranchers at risk of losing their grazing permits and jeopardizing their livelihoods. Agriculture is a challenging way to make a living, but producers choose this path be because it is their passion and it is their way of life. Several ranchers in my state of Idaho have said that if they were to lose their grazing permit, they would have to subdivide their land and further reduce their grazing areas. My bill, the Grazing Improvement Act, would provide relief to these ranchers and to ranchers throughout the country. It would, number one, extend livestock grazing permits from 10 to 20 years in order to give producers adequate longevity and production stability. It would also codify existing appropriation language to put into statute annual riders, and it would encourage the respective Secretaries of Interior and Agriculture to utilize categorical exclusions to expedite permit processing. I believe that protecting our environment can be done in a manner that does not impede our economic growth. It is time that we improve our regulatory structure so that we continue to prosper as a nation. We can no longer allow the federal government to maintain an enormous backlog in processing grazing permits. I thank the co-sponsors of this legislation, and I look forward to working with my colleagues on this issue. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman yields back.